is Jamie Duggan, and he's moving his team around the pitch very well in the opening 60 seconds or so here. Quinn again, third carry inside the opening minute or so. Duggan, little pop over the top. They didn't get much purchase out of the defensive line with ball in hand. And they tried to mix it up, and that ball bobbling around, and it's just been knocked forward. A really Understandably, maybe inside the opening six minutes or so, Crescent just trying to pen band it in in that far corner. And look to move it again. Duggan, quick service. And he mix it up this time. It looks like Killian Kelly with his hands on it. So they pick from the base and away they come. Really good carry. Options left and right. Can they get any purchase out of this defensive line? Again, it's a little bit. That's a really good angle on the bus, straight through the middle. Options left and right. They go to Klein on that blindside flank this afternoon. Ball available now for Duggan. He's got lots of options all the way over the top. Possibility in that far corner. Maybe a ball came straight out the side door into touch as well. Such was the, uh, the impact of the, the hit. Now, Connell Henshey, who's seen so much of it, finds his target at the line out and that rolling ball is going Tron to the back and over the back and it's going to be picked up here by Connell Henshey again there's another massive tackle going in pick option is not a great one but they can kick off 9 or 10 this time two loose forwards for Bandon working hard as well one chipped over the top and into the hands of Joe McCurney but a really good kick chase from Connor Ryan and he affects the tackle right in front of us and into the hands now of Jamie Duggan Back to Jack Summers it go, but look at the pressure coming through. Munster and Ireland under 19s player. Oh, that's good competition in the air this time. Here's the tap and go. And who better? Ruan Quinn. And off he goes. Charging to the line. A referee's there. And he's seen a grinding. And it's only taken two and a half minutes of the second half for Crescent. Respectful silence, he's given that a, a decent effort. It's not going to quite get there, is it? Oh, it is, it makes it over. Beautifully. Taking his time, poised. And can he reduce the margin? Struck it well, is it coming round enough from right? Abandoned to the pin of their collar defensively. The likes of Liam McCarthy and Peter O'Sullivan having to make tackle after tackle. Small defence initially was good from Bandon, but now Crescent have got a, a better shape and starting to get some momentum and trundling forward now at a rate of knots. Right over onto that far side they go, and now it breaks down. Referee is happy to let play continue. Oh, it's loose again, and it's a little bit nervy and anxious back there. Oh, that, and the man at the back of that scrum will know it too Ruan Quinn what's the option here it's Quinn and he's a very good option in that kind of range and it takes all that Bandon have to try and hold them out can they on him but they just didn't have the power to stop him from that kind of range accelerating through the gears strike for the posts he's just a little bit short holding up and coming through now Again, it's turnover ball, and that's a little bit loose through the hands of van der Vesthuysen, but picked up instead by McCarthy. Space on this side, potentially for Spearman. He knows where the try line is. He's got three in the competition already this season. Once again, it's against Prez on the back pitch at Thoman Park a few weeks ago in their quarter-final match and come from behind on several occasions, three times in the match, and they managed to do that. Now Bandon crossfield kick, real options here. Oh, opportunity, surely, is that a try? Has reduced the arrears. And now Jeff Williams will endeavour to make it a two-point game. Mm. Well, he's left that out. Present controlling things. Jamie Duggan once again. All kinds of adversity. Difficult kick though it is. 
Well, he struck it really well and the width of the post is going to deny the band in number 10 on this occasion. Hugely disappointing and the breeze now from the second row. Marcus Lyons tries to get them moving again. Henshi is over it. Ball is there for Lyons. And there's another one of those charge lines and it's going to be that man van der Vest he's in. Look at that. Going to the wire, always bringing some kind of drama and late twist. Jeff Williams just waiting, and then he has the simple task. If there is a simple task in bootstraps, good pickup. Crescent on the attack now. They're outnumbered this way defensively. Bandon look well set, but they're making yards through the tackle line as they fold around the corner. There's opportunity. Potentially, has he got there? 